Nope. We're going to go around to the right and past this island. We'll pass it on. It'll be on our left. So we're going around here? Yeah, just go like right, right here, yeah. Okay. We're going to wait at the end of the island. Okay. Yeah, zebra mussels. Hmm. They didn't uh, multiply like the European zebra mussel. And so they actually cleaned up the lakes a little bit. They, in Europe, they, they are seven or nine deep in zebra mussels. So they cut off that flow and all that kind of stuff. But here in the Great Lakes, they never around. Um, the one thing is they, they, they got like it. So birds like this, is it? Nice hammock spot. Shitty hammock though. Yeah. Yeah, they don't use that, you know, it's just for show. Yeah. Those hammocks suck. Tell a real hammock lover yeah. would never have a hammock like that. Those are the type of hammocks that turn people off hammocks because you yeah. go and lie in that thing and you flip over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you make one sudden move, and boom, you're on the ground. It doesn't have any give. <laughs> yeah. Lake Champlain, one of the residents declared this one of the great lakes. It's been pouring tonight, but I'm not too worried about it. I've got my hammock and tarp system completely dialed. So I'm going to be nice and dry and warm and cozy tonight.
residential. It's beautiful water, sky, and yeah, it's pretty amazing. That's for sure. You got a great camping spot here, Frank. One of your best, you were saying, huh? Yeah. That's it. Doesn't get better than this. Yeah. Let's go. It's down at the bottom of the lake, bro, in her, <laughs> in her forward operating base. Can you tell us what's on the menu for tonight, Frank? Look at this. Look at this sauce. Rehydrated hamburger and tomato sauce. Wow, amazing. That's in Jeremy's secret spices. Spectacular. This is gluten free pasta. We mix in uh, penne and what's the other one? Fusilli. Fusilli? Yeah. Nice. El Dante. Beautiful. Can't mess with uh, Hurricane Debbie, boy. I mean, it did some damage in Burlington, Vermont last night. It came through here. The, the aftermath of coming in from the East Coast, you know, really wreaked some havoc here in Burlington, Vermont. I mean, some of these huge trees are down all over town. The water looks nice and calm this morning, though, so that's a, that's a nice uh, bonus because we're going to be out on the water probably in about an hour or so. But oh my gosh, this tree right here, this is huge, right? This is a ginormous, epic pine. I mean, this thing's got to be four feet, five feet in diameter. And this baby came down hard. Anyway, the canoes took a bit of a beating too. We left our canoes down here by, uh, by the water. Um, you know, we had them beautifully stowed away, you know, kind of stacked up. And the wind came in and took them for a tumble way down. Um, the guys are fixing them right now uh, because we got to get on the water in about an hour. But we got some major repairs to do, especially the old cedar strip canoe got busted up. Some of the ribs and planking literally got cracked right through. Thankfully, the canvas is intact, so the thing is still water tight. But uh, you know it's it's weak, so they're doing some repairs. I didn't want to push this too proud. I don't want to push it up too much, you know. But it's good because it, it, if it holds it from a little bit of movement, you know. Mm -hmm. How's it going, fellas? Good. I don't think we got a. It's not really good there, but it's all right. Yeah, we're 
going off the clock there. Oh, it's going pretty good. They're just working on a bunch of stuff, so I'm coming down here to food. see what's up. Yeah, organizing the food and the barrels. Just doing a little check on you guys. I wonder if that's pushing up too much. Maybe they have an inferiority complex yeah, there you go. compared to the bigger gulls. <laughs> yeah, the Napoleon complex. the New York parks. We stayed in some amazing New York parks. Yeah. yeah, I mean some awesome Vermont parks too, but the New York parks are are even nicer I think. Those eagles are really chitter-chattering.
One or two for there for lunch, maybe? See what that's like? Farthest point we can see? Yeah. and I are here chilling on this channel marker in the middle of the lake. Property of the U.S. government. Property of the U.S. government, indeed. I forget the code number, but they've stipulated it. But it's still a pretty cool vantage point. We're way ahead of the crew, and so now we just see them coming along. They're way up there on the horizon. Just wait them out here, enjoy the breeze. Hey Frank. We had our afternoon caffeinated stroke. Yep. Yeah, we hauled ass for a while. So we'll just chill and wait for these guys to catch up. <laughs> well, we're just enjoying government property. We're not yeah. doing any damage here. We're just chilling. Were there eagles on the nest over there? Eagle in the tree. Oh, there's a nest on the last one? Yeah. And the baby? Oh, really? Yeah. Is that baby there? No, this one's on the last one. This one's abandoned. is like so full of garbage and we got two eagles looking over the side at the yeah. same time. It's like a real yeah, really uh juxtaposition. Quite a juxtaposition. Only contemporary contemporary use. Goodbye, Lac Champlain. We're 
Hello Erie Canal System. Morning, Frank. What's the story? We made it to Friday. We made it to Friday, buddy. Look, it's a bonus. Oh, look at this. It's a bonus day. <laughs> the morning Q-tip delivery. Good man. Five minutes. Amazing, man. Great catch. Flathead. Huh? Flathead. Flathead's blue. Flathead's brown. Wider mouth. No. 